Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure and function of chloroplasts. Ok, I'm showing you here a diagram of a plant cell. Now as you can see plant cells contain chloroplasts. And chloroplasts are the organelles where photosynthesis takes place. So we find chloroplasts in plant cells which carry out photosynthesis. We don't find chloroplasts in parts of the plant that do not photosynthesize, for example the roots. Now before we look at the structure of chloroplasts, we need to take a look at what happens in photosynthesis. I should point out that we're going to be looking at photosynthesis in much more detail when we come to that topic. In photosynthesis, the energy from light is used to react carbon dioxide with water to form oxygen and the carbohydrate glucose. And the energy that was trapped in photosynthesis is now contained within the chemical bonds in the glucose molecule. Now a key idea you need to understand is that photosynthesis actually consists of two sets of reactions. The light dependent reactions use chlorophyll to harvest light energy. The energy is then transferred into the chemical bonds of other molecules such as ATP. So this means that the light dependent reactions only take place in the presence of light. The other set of reactions are called the light independent reactions and these are the reactions in which glucose is formed. The light independent reactions do not require light. So this means that the light independent reactions take place during both light and dark conditions. Ok, so let's look now at the structure of chloroplasts and link the structures to their functions. I'm showing you a diagram of a chloroplast here. The first thing to notice is that just like mitochondria, chloroplasts are surrounded by a double membrane. And these membranes control which molecules enter and leave the chloroplast. Inside the chloroplast we find membrane bound flattened discs. These discs are called thylakoids and thylakoids are where the light dependent reactions take place. So thylakoids contain the chlorophyll and enzymes needed for the light dependent reactions. Thylakoids are stacked on top of each other and a stack of thylakoids is called a granum. By stacking the thylakoids into grana, light can be absorbed more efficiently. Thylakoids on different grana are connected to each other by flattened membranes called lamellae. The lamellae play a role in the light dependent reactions and allow chemicals to pass between the grana. Chloroplasts contain a fluid material called the stroma. The stroma is where the light independent reactions take place. So the stroma contains the enzymes needed for the light independent reactions. Ok, now as we've seen the end product of photosynthesis is the carbohydrate glucose. And this glucose can be converted to the polysaccharide starch, which is stored in the chloroplast as starch granules. Now just like mitochondria, chloroplasts also contain a loop of DNA. This DNA contains genes which encode some of the proteins needed for photosynthesis. Chloroplasts also contain ribosomes. These ribosomes synthesize the proteins encoded by the chloroplast DNA. Ok, so hopefully now you can describe the structure and function of chloroplasts. 